this this was the data set that we feed it model data v3 0.7 dsv and uh, this data set was the reduced form of data set the original data set form was 3.7 gb in size which contained 1.1 million rows and 971 columns So then we selected features and label columns out of uh, the entire data set. So here feature columns is the array which is shown and the output column that is the dependent variable column is the purchased column. Label encoder and one hot encoder was used in order to obtain a numeric representation of the categorical attributes in the data set. So here, um, by doing two array, we are converting the data set into tensor format, which is nothing but a multi-dimensional array. So then, uh, the data set size consisted of 4034 and uh, 71. So then we divided the data set into two parts, the training uh, part and the testing part. And we try to scale the data set in order to make it in a form uh, to fit into the model. These are the layers which we try to add into the data set. So here we have added four layers um, and we have given the input here using input dimension. We are using uniform distribution here and ReLU is the activation function um, which is nothing but rectified linear unit. The optimizer that we are using because of its high level efficiency is Atom and because this is a binary classification problem that's why we are using binary cross entropy. Matrix because uh, this is used for prediction and it is a classification type problem. So this is where we try to fit the model into the data set and this is the accuracy level of the model. So this graph suggests the accuracy of the model in increasing rate um, on the x-axis we have epochs and as the epochs are increasing the accuracy is also increasing. As the accuracy increases, the error should reduce. This is what this graph is saying. The loss is reducing as the box are increasing. Same for this one. This is the mean squared error graph, where the error is continuously decreasing as the box increase. Next one was uh, predicting the output. So this output is in the range 0 to 1 as we used sigmoid activation function in the output layer. Then we tried to find out the confusion matrix out of it. So through that we came to know that the overall accuracy of our model was 92%. So this is it. Now is that accuracy for the test set or the training set? It is for the training set. Okay, what's the accuracy for the test set? Uh, for the test set it was... It's for um, the test set. It's for the test set. The computation matrix. We are running the computation matrix using the... Right, okay, it says it above. White test. Right, okay.